It's week six of the NFL, and we've got Brees Hall. He couldn't have been better last week. Simply an incredible rushing performance. It's the Jets and the Eagles, and it comes your way next. Well, we are about a $50 cab ride away from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, we've got a week six matchup for you here. As it will be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the New York Jets. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Jets ball club. They're off to a terrific start, unbeaten at 5 0 through the first month and change. And you can hang a lot of this early success on their defense, too. They're the tone setters for these. The New York set to take the field. And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is. And if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing. The answer can be yes, because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going. But what the veterans are telling the young guys in the locker room, an open week is always good, guys. Take it. There he goes, left side. Inside the 20, Brees Hall. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Brees Hall. That's his 18th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Jets will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are. But this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. field come the New York Jets for their second drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So, Charles, you look at this offense, and really on paper at least, a great situation for them upcoming. They're unbeaten on the year, an open week coming up after this. So I guess my question, any worry that maybe this is coming at the wrong time? Oh, definitely I would be worried about this game, maybe more than any other on the schedule, because I know my guys are looking ahead to that open week. I've got to keep them focused on the task ahead. Make sure they take care of business in this one. Otherwise, you're talking about a double trap. The trap of losing the game and then having the open week and having to stew about it. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw here. And that will be incomplete. Partner, we've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. And New York set to take the field. Sitting in first place in the division. They've got an open date on the calendar coming up next week. So, Charles, you and I were talking about this before the game. This one for them kind of has some extra importance. It certainly does because if they can get the win here and pad their lead a bit or at least keep pace, then they can really kick their feet up and say a job well done at this point and not have to worry about ball at all until they're back in their facility, back in their meeting room, getting ready for the next game. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. 
they'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. A tale of two extremes. First carry, he went for a bundle. His second goes backward. And how many times have we seen that happen? Because you get that big carry, and you come back, and you're all fired up, and sometimes you force a run a little bit, right? Trying to break off that big carry again, and instead, it works opposite. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. The Jets at a perfect 5-0 here to begin the campaign. And they've certainly found their groove of late, winners of five in a row. And this team is absolutely playing their best football right now. This is the best that we've seen them play in a long time, partner. Sky's the limit as far as they're concerned. Their confidence really soaring. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll set up a throw. Catch is made by Hardman. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. We should mention, to go along with a great game he had last week, he was rightfully named AFC Offensive Player of the Week. And he shares that with his offensive line, the tight end, his fullback. He's looking for more and more of that in this game. He finds Wilson. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. They've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll run with Hall. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Brees Hall with touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Jets are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. So two drives, two touchdowns here in this first quarter, and he's got both of them. Well, he's certainly setting himself up for a big game here, and I think if the play caller doesn't get in his own way, they should keep riding him the entire way of this game. Until the defense proves they can stop him, that's what I would call. The New York set to take the field. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much, because you're right. You get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of, you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry it with them for essentially two weeks. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here as they've got it with a first and ten. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. 
On second down, a run with Hall. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? On third down, he'll drop to throw. That's to Davis. He's got it. Touchdown, New York. Corey Davis, his second touchdown on the season. And the Jets have taken the lead. Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more confident that they have found their guy, their future at quarterback. And they should feel that way. It's obvious he's a big part of why they have such a good record this season. You're right about the bright future as well. And by association, a bright future for the franchise too. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the touchdown pass last time they had it. And they'll start here with a first and 10. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here's second and ten. They'll toss it out right here to Hall. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 14. Now back to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Partner, that's excellent timing right there. Breaking off the route and being able to hit it right when he stops. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first and 10, it's Hall. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And they run the option on second down. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. They'll see about converting this third and eight. They'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And a big 32-yard play on third. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Straight ahead is Hall. Gets by him at the 25. And yeah, boy, the strength on display there as he rumbles through tacklers for a gain of about eight. 
Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. From the 20, here's second and a couple. They'll go again with Hall. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 106 yards rushing for him in this one as he starts to draw nearer to a 1,500-yard campaign. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. Hall ought to give up the middle. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall his way to a monster game three first half touchdowns and the Jets go up by two touchdowns some good running there at the end of the drive he had the burst that set up the first and goal and then one play later he's in the end zone Brandon what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call but they understood the situation understood the momentum a nice hard charging run give it right back to him and let him cap things off their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. They've sort of epitomized balance. I mean, he's thrown the ball pretty well. They've run the ball well. Got to be pretty happy over on that sideline. Takes a lot of pressure off, doesn't it? As much as those guys back there want to throw the ball around and be the focal point, when you're able to run it well and hold the defense back from their pass rush, it allows you to throw it as well as we're seeing so far in this game. Yeah, now they'll be looking to add to their lead here in the second quarter. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Here's a second and eight. They'll give to Hall. And he'll be stopped up at the 26 after a gain of only a couple. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Third down and six. On the draw, it's Hall. And he'll be taken down after a short gain as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Here comes a field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. He's been in a pretty good groove. They actually have more yards on the ground than through the air, but both have been good, pretty balanced. And have we ever met a coach when we've talked to him before a game that hasn't mentioned wanting to be balanced? No, because then you've got both sides hitting the defense. They don't know what to expect, right? Really helps your play calling because now you're in a position where you're confident in either one, either aspect of the game, dial it up and let it go. And so far, that's allowed them to lead. Absolutely. Have the lead here in the second quarter. Uh, you got a young quarterback. You know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target. And now off to the races down the right side. He may go. And all the way in. Touchdown. And the Jets will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass his young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence of the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that every... So 
So here are the Jets now to take over. Remember, they're riding that five-game winning streak and right now in the driver's seat in this ball game as well. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Caught by Wilson. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. On the toss, it's Hall. Powers ahead at the 45. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 128 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ballgame. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Steps away. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll run with Hall. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef eaters on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. A handoff for Hall. Able to push his way through. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. And all the way Touchdown, New York. Brees Hall, 43 yards. And the Jets add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. I know I should keep the focus in the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles leads to his long touchdown run. The Jets offensive unit ready to get going here. Been a very strong performance for them, really on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs, the most recent example. And now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. Fighting through it, he's got space. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. 
We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's a second and five. Here's Hall again. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. 214 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And they run the option here on first and 10. Pretty nice, aggressive run there before being brought down just inside of the 30. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. From the 29, here's second and three. Uh, give to Hall running right. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Brandon, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. On first down, right back to Hall. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll try to run with Hall. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. Here we go, shot. He'll drop to throw. Touchdown! Miko Hardman from three yards out. And the Jets start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. Yet another touchdown in what has just been a high-scoring affair, a fun one to watch. And it's the rookie quarterback, Charles, coming through with yet another touchdown pass to pad the lead. Did we come into this game where defense was optional? Because it certainly feels that way, right? But when you look at the scoreboard, this rookie, he has his team moving at a little bit quicker pace than his opponent. And New York set to take the field as they try to finish things off in this fourth quarter. And that current five-game win streak looking like it's going to go to six. Now Hall to start the drive. They juked him. And now running right, gets by him, and now a little daylight. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. There he goes again. 
Brees Hall. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Brees Hall, 60 yards. And the Jets are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Well, I'm just not sure what more we can say about him after that one. But we're certainly going to give it a try, aren't we? Because I believe we're watching greatness personified. It has not mattered all game long where they've handed him the football. He's taken it and found the end zone. He is so locked into that so-called zone, I don't think they're going to get him out of it in this one. And New York set to take the field. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate, but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way this game is gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and they'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Hall again. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. There's a nice play by Hall who is hitting his stride and more. And looking like a franchise back when a torn ACL ended his rookie year in seven games. We all saw the electricity. We felt it before he went down, though. The expectations, very high for the future star here in year two. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. A give running right is Hall. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Hassan Reddick coming through with a stop there and a tackle for loss to boot. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. And Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for the Jets, they remain as hot as anyone, 6-0 and now through the first month and a half. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, the loss here will move them back to 500 at 3-3. Three and three. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.